Hi everyone, Ryan here and uh, today's lesson we're going to be talking about how to execute a trade, right? Executing a trade. Alright, so let's move on to the lesson, executing a trade. Alright, so on the MT4 platform, right, if you have it open now, you can practice along, right? So if you wanted to open a position, you could click on new order at the top, near the top left, right? click on new order or the shortcut key is to press F9 all right? so when you click on new order or F9 this pop-up box appears all right? so if you click the buy or sell you can do uh, execute a market order okay now a few things to take note in this uh, pop-up box make sure that when you click on new order make sure that the symbol all right? symbol is the currency pair that you're trading Make sure it's the correct one, all right? Volume, right? So volume is basically your lot size, right? So you can put in 1.13 lots or 0.38 lots or 0.04 lots, all right? So up to zero, smallest you can trade 0 0.01, all right? So 0 0.01 lot, that means one pip is worth 10 cents. That's one micro lot, okay? Volume. Uh, stop loss and take profit most of the time you can ignore for instant execution all right then type instant execution all right now if you click on this box over here right you click on this box over here you a drop down menu appears and then you can also select pending all right so let's take a look at that all right so if you click on this box you can select pending so when you change it to pending the bottom changes as well, all right? So this is a pending order, all right? So you can change the type, all right? Over here, the type. So there are three diff, uh, sorry, four different types of orders, right? Buy stop, buy limit, sell stop, sell limit. Okay, then you can put in your price, the entry price that you want to put in. Okay, expiry normally I just leave it. Right, I leave it but there are some people who want to put expiry at a certain time at the end of the day you know it's up to you right but for me as a trader because I like to I like to uh, check my trades often right during the day so I normally leave the expiry blank okay so types all right so we're looking at types okay all right, oh, sorry back back here again all right so types so like I mentioned there'll be four different types of orders that you can place all right so play around with it on your demo account okay next after you have placed an order right it will be running at the bottom in the terminal window all right so uh, if you want to modify the order can you do that or you want to delete the order can you do that yes of course you can right so right click on the order right right click and then click on and this pop-up box appears and then you can click on modify or delete okay so if you want to delete all the order, straightforward, just click on delete, all right? So if you want to modify, most of the time people will click on uh, uh, why they want to modify is because they want to change the stop loss or the take profit, all right? So you can, or, or maybe even they want to change the entry price if the trade has not been triggered yet, all right? So you make whatever necessary changes you want to do and then click on modify. Okay, what if you want to close an order? Close an order is only for a trade that's already running, right? You can't close an order, you can't close a pending order, right? That's called delete, right? You can delete a pending order, you cannot delete a running order, right? You need to close a, pen, a, a running order, right? So you right click on the order, right? Right click on that running order, and then this pop up box appears, you click on, you click on close. All right, the same pop-up box appears, right? And then if you want to exit the position, just click on close, all right? Sometimes we use this, right? We close a trade manually, right? Early, uh, rather than waiting for the stop loss or take profit to be hit, all right? So I do that most of the time, especially for taking profits, right? Most of the time when I see that the price has uh, moved to a certain, certain area where I want to exit early, you know, I might just close off the order early rather than waiting for my stop loss or take profit to be hit. Okay, so next, stop loss and take profit orders. All right, what are stop loss and take profit orders? All right, stop loss, an order to close a previously open position at a price less profitable for the customer than the price at the time of placing the order. 
take profit and order to close a previously open position at a price more profitable for the customer than the price at the time of placing the order. All right, so, so basically what this all means is that for stop loss means you want to exit when your trade is losing money. All right, or you want to, or, or it could be a positive stop loss as well when your trade is running, right? Maybe running at 50, 80, 100 pips. You can stack your stop loss at a certain point, you know. So once the price comes down to your stop loss, it exits automatically, right? So, you know, especially the price moves against your direction, right? But rather than ending up in negative or ending up with zero to your entry price, you could still end up with a small profit, all right? So basically, stop loss is for you to exit at a less profitable price okay take profit okay so take profit is uh, when you set a uh, when you set the price where you want the tr where you are happy to exit with your profits right so most people normally select 20 pips 30 pips 50 pips 80 pips 100 pips 150 pips you know as their take profit and then uh, they, they, they set it there so once the price hits the take profit price it exits automatically as well all right so most traders right most successful traders you included if you want to be a successful trader every trade must have a stop loss order all right sorry must have a stop loss okay every order must have a stop loss take profit optional some people like to trade without a take profit that's fine by leaving a take profit blank that's fine all right but stop loss should never ever be blank or empty all right so you should always set your stop loss take profit is optional okay so how to use it same thing let's say you want to modify your trade to put in to change your stop loss you know or change your take profit right click on the running order or the pending order and then click modify right uh, set your stop loss set your take profit click on modify very straightforward all right okay so that concludes today's lesson all right that concludes today's lesson right so like i mentioned you know it's all about uh practicing on the demo account right demo account is meant for you to keep practicing until you're familiar with the functions and features how to place an order all right so once you're familiar with how to place an order you should move on to a small live account as soon as possible right so you can start training your psychology as well the mindset all right okay so that's all for today's lesson on executing a trade in the next lesson we'll be going to be talking about phases of the market so I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.